Hey, I want to make a follow-up video to the video I made previously on the auto switch program for Hive OS. I didn't really cover the first half of what you would do, so this is uh, me covering the first half, you could say. Now, let's get into it. First thing you're going to want to do is create a uh, flight sheet for each of the respective algorithms. So as you can see here, I did that. I have a uh, flight sheet for all the different nice hash coins that I want to mine. It would look something like this. As you can see, uh, you have the option to select nice hash dash whatever uh, algorithm you want to mine. And I suggest you select it that way because if you select that the pool configuration minor configuration for the most part will be automatic so that's what i did and if you don't see the nice hash options just type in nice hash and then the rest should pop up like over here when i type in nice hash you can see all the options here make sure you select the correct one nice hash wallet which would be your bitcoin address um, i would use the bitcoin address provided to you by nice hash and then your pool. I uh, select the pool closest to you geographically, and then another pool as a backup. And then select a miner. Be sure to select a miner that's appropriate for the type of GPU that you're running. So in my situation, I'm running NVIDIA cards, so I'm selecting NVIDIA GPUs or uh, X uh, XM rig NVIDIA miner. And Finally, probably one of the most important parts is to select or properly name the flight sheet. So the flight sheet must be named capital A auto switch space the name of the algorithm. So auto switch space crypto knight R in my situation. Make sure you save that and then you do that for each of the algorithms that you want to mine. The next part, which is the part I didn't really cover in my first video, would be to go to your miner and then run each of the flight sheets that you created one by one and record the speed that you get for each of the flight sheets. What you're doing in this step is pretty much benchmarking the miner. And once you've benchmarked your miner, then you'll be ready to install the auto switch program. So I've already done this, and these are my benchmarks for all the different algorithms. This step will probably take you around 45 minutes or more, depending on how many algorithms you want to benchmark for NiceHash. So these are the algorithms that I'm going to be using. Once you've written it down, the next thing you'd want to do is go to my GitHub, so that way we can install the or download the installation script and you're going to want to run this command and then this command so let's go into the shell so oh, let me open a new shell actually but you're, you're going to want to SSH into the miner which is what I'm going to do right now Now we're going to do remote access. On this miner, as you can see, I've actually already installed uh, auto switch. And it's switched, it switched right now to X16R. Uh, current profitability is $2.25 US a day. It's mining at 74 uh, mega hash a second for the total rig. OK, now let's SSH into the program. Now, like I said, you're going to want to run this command, or sorry, this command, then this command. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you this script in your home directory with execution rights.
So as you can see, it has the ability to execute. Once you have that, the next thing you're going to want to do is copy this command right here into Notepad, which is exactly what I did over here. And then you're going to want to fill in the area where it has the algorithm that you benchmark for with the benchmark. So in this situation, I would change Kabak with 2.6. I would change NIST with 160. And then once you're done, your, your command will look something like this. And then the next thing you're going to want to fill in is your API key. The way you get your API key is you go to HiveOS, go to the top right corner, select account, and then scroll down. And you might have to select the advanced tab at the bottom. And then you're going to be able to generate a new API token. Name your API token auto switch, save it, and then copy that uh, API key. And then once you have your API key, you're going to want to put it in this spot right here. The API key is very long. And then once you do that, you're going to want to copy the whole command with the API key in there and then paste it into the shell. I've, I, I did that already. So there's no need to redo that. So let me remote back into it now. When you're in when you're in the miner, you're actually able to see the auto switch program run. So let's see that right now. So as you can see right now we're on uh ethash. It's mining and it's getting two point two uh US per day. And this is how it would look like when you're running uh, the program correctly. Now, the only thing left to cover would be just make sure you have zero put in here for every algorithm you don't want to mine. And if you don't want to mine it, you don't need to create the flight sheet for that algorithm. You don't need to bother. Uh, remember that some algorithms require more memory, so if you're using 3 gigabyte cards, you're going to have less options. Uh, if you're using AMD, you're going to have a few less options also. And the last option here for the yes or no is whether if you whether to start auto switch right away. So if you don't want to start it right after installing it, and maybe you want to just go into the config file and make sure things are good, you can select no. But in my situation, I selected yes. And that's how you would do the installation. This is more of a, a detailed guide on how to do it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below. Uh, come to the HiveOS forum. Or you can feel free to contact me and I'm happy to help you out. But that's everything and thank you for watching.